this is it up for Vincent dinner for tomorrow. So, look at this. And look at this. I think it's a thousands of people who are going to eat here hey, hey, hey. tomorrow. Right, Darling? Yeah, about 900 or 1,000. 900 or thousands of people were going to eat it here oh, for tomorrow. So, this is the sit up. And this is the table. And this is the um, annual Vincent dinner. So, dear. So, you see that? See that? Oh my goodness. Tomorrow I'm going back here again and to show you how the peep how people eat it. So they are preparing for tomorrow food for tomorrow. They're cooking until tomorrow morning. Then they come back early tomorrow also. The deer. They roast the deer. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of a lot. So this is also in the cafeteria. That one is in the gym, and this one is from is uh, in the cafeteria area. So everybody's busy right now for cooking for tomorrow. So I'm going to eat the deer. It's organic, you know that?
appreciate your time coming out this time. It's kind of hard to believe that this all started 40 years ago with a dozen guys cooking up their own hunt. This year, 85 hind quarters were donated by the, the hunters from this church. Ooh, thank you. Medicine were cooked for you, so if you want seconds, do not be afraid to let your servant up. <laughs> so, we have an exciting set of, of uh, speakers for you tonight. Mark and Ann Whitt are right over here. Give them a big butler welcome, please. <laughs> we are really looking forward to what God's put on their heart to share with you guys tonight. In the meantime, though, we have a wonderful dinner that will be coming out here shortly, and so why don't we pray? Father, you've, you've given us an evening together, and you've given us a great amount of food to enjoy. And we ask that you would place your hand of blessing upon that food and upon all that, that enjoy it tonight. It was the, the peace of your presence today. Bless our food and our time together. In Jesus' name. Amen. Enjoy your meal. Thought his buck was going to be laying there and lay, there laid my dad dead. 
My dad was 38 years old. I thought he was old. I was 14. 38 old. Anybody think 48, 38 is old? Other than you young kids here on the front seat say, oh, 38 is ancient. Out through the field. First place we got to was the sawdust pile. I know you guys that hunt enough, you have special places that you call different names. Down by the old oak tree. Down at the corner post. Turn left and go to the locust. This was the sawdust pile. My dad said, sit on top of the sawdust pile. Watch that hillside if there's any deer moving. You'll get to see them. Remember, it's only bucks. And I watched as my dad's flashlight and my brother and my grandpa's flashlight disappeared into the Pennsylvania woods. My dad dropped off my grandpa, dropped off my brother, and then he went down over on a bench above Wills Creek. And it was a flat spot, had a big trail, deer trail going across him. There was laurel down over the mountain side to his left. And he crawled up under this little hemlock tree because it created a perfect little natural blind. A triple plus. I'm very intense. And this is a true story. We were in Wisconsin a couple years ago. After we got done speaking, this elderly pastor walks up and hugs me and goes, Mark, you are just very intense. You need to just ease up a little bit. And I'm like, what do you recommend? He says, before you start talking, just loosen up and tell a joke. And I said, well, what would you recommend? And he says, well, I got a joke for you. So here's this pastor's joke. So don't blame me for this, okay? This lady dies and goes to heaven and she goes running up to the pearly gates and she's all excited and she goes to run in and, and, and Peter's there at the gates and goes, whoa, stop, ma'am. Stop. And, and, and what? We just started a new policy, just happened this week. Before you go into, the, into heaven, you got to spell the word of the day. And the lady goes, my pastor never said anything about the word of the day. He said, I know it just started this week, but you got to spell the word of the day to get into heaven. And she says, what's the word of the day? And she says, the word of the day this week is love. And she's like, woohoo, I got it. You guys can get in on this one, right? L-O-V-E. It says, congratulations, ma'am, you get to go in. And she turns to go running in, and his cell phone goes off. Says, yeah. Oh, my goodness, there's an emergency. I'll be right there. He says, ma'am, I am so sorry. This has never happened before, but I need you to stand here and watch the pearly gates real quick. I've got an emergency. Just stand right here and watch him, and I'll be back in five minutes. And he disappears. And she's standing there, and she's kind of perplexed. And she's like, well, this has never happened. I don't know. She's standing there. And all of a sudden she looks and here comes her ex-husband running up to the pearly gates. <laughs> oh, you guys know where this is going, right? Yeah. And he comes running up and he looks at his ex-wife and he's like, I'm ready to go in. She goes, stop. You can't go in. He says, what do you mean? He says, Brandon Palsy just implemented this week. You got to spell the word of the day. He says, well, my priest never said anything about the word of the day. He says, I know. It's crazy, isn't it? He says, yeah. He says, well, what's the word of the day? And she looks at her ex-husband and says, today's word is Czechoslovakia. <laughs> I'll give you a second. Same Sunday, the day before deer season, we were sitting over here. It was a Sunday. It was church. And the weather station there in Pittsburgh was calling for the storm of the century. We went into church. We came out an hour later. And there was eight inches of snow on the ground in one, one hour. This was December 1st, 1974. I was 14 years old. I don't know. Those of you old enough, you can maybe remember that storm. The next morning, we got up. First day of deer season, out of bed, ready to go, and the lights didn't come on. I'm like, what is wrong? Went down. I pushed the door open. 36 inches of snow on the ground. We didn't go anywhere that year to deer hunt that morning, that week. We couldn't get out. We shoveled and shoveled and shoveled. December 13th, Friday. Dad says, boys, tomorrow's the first, the last day of the deer season. We need meat for the freezer for the family. 